Good morning, guys. I hope you all are doing great. I am doing, doing wonderful. So I just came back from Aldi, but I wanted to go ahead and talk about Instacart and Shipped of what I've been doing because I told you guys a couple of you all on Instagram and on YouTube that I will talk about it. I will make a video more in depth. If you have any questions, let me know down in the description box about Instacart or Ship that you have. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> and so I'll be able to kind of narrow all the questions down and, you know, get to the meat of it. So what I have been doing recently on top of YouTube and my blog, which I need to buckle down, is I have been doing Instacart and Shipped. So Instacart and Shipped is a grocery delivery company and you grocery yeah third party grocery delivery company so what you do is um you apply on the app and i'll make sure i put a link down below so you guys can apply and you go through all the channels it'll let you know if it's a waiting list in your area or not it may not be i did hear a cashier at Aldi recently said it was a waiting list in the Raleigh Durham area but try anyway um, she said her husband um, recently did it but um, I told her that I recently started back doing Instacart more so than shipped but I recently applied for shipped and um, recently so with Instacart I've been with them for a year I think like over a year but I wasn't able to get hours. So I took the app off my phone and everything. One day I decided to go ahead and just um, put the app back on because I applied for shipped and um, shipped finally, I think shipped was in our area because I would see the signs at Target and so forth. But um, I was happy to get with shipped because shipped I heard was a little bit harder to get on with. So I'm grateful for that. So shipped is still a little new in our area and it's not as um busy so and i'm not driving to raleigh i'm not going to carry all the time i'm not going to go to apex all the time so i want to stay in my area and um it's not as busy so i decided to put the instacart app back on my phone and then all of a sudden i got a message talking about the on demand so the on demand with instacart is kind of like um or it is <laughs> when they have like a busy peak or spike in orders it will push through where anyone if you're in that area you can click on it and you can go shop it so before instacart does there's a little bit different which i'll talk about in another video then shipped um with instacart you have to grab your hours and then in order to have those hours you have to have early access and in order to have an early access you have to have a certain number of hours per the weekend or the weekday or total hours so um it's a certain day i think on sunday you can pick your hours that you're available to work and then as long as you cancel those hours before six hours you don't get a penalty against you and that's how instacart works so it was getting a lot of people in the area applying and it was really tough to get hours so when they came up with the on demand i was able to grab some hours in our area so i kind of stayed in my area at first i kind of ventured out and went to apex or carry every now and then i may get one in apex or something like that but i'll stay in my area um i see that i can make money in my area i probably can make better tips and carry or some other places but you never know so anyway just make sure that i'll put all the links down below make sure you ask me any questions that you have but um some of the stores it just depends on your area like i follow some people on instagram that shop at Meyer. so if you have a Meyer in your area it just depends on your area what instacart shops at i know in my area it's food line and aldi i think petco um i think i've seen the wine company it's a whole lot of other places publix um what shipped is publix harris teeter and target which is fun target is fun 
Um, it's probably some more guys, but those are the ones that come off the top of my head. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Um, usually it pays if you have that question. At a minimum, I know with Instacart is at least $7 and it's up to the customer if they tip you or not. Instacart has a great system now to where when you do the on demand, you're able to... You're able to see the tip see how much the order pays and then you also get to see if it's a heavy order um if it is a peak order meaning they add instacart added extra money to it because you are able to because they needed someone to do it and no one has grabbed it you're able to see when the order is due because it's due by a certain time instacart is more so on speed and we can talk about that later more so on speed but you get faster as time goes on um also with instacart you get both of them you get paid every week but also instacart has a new thing where you can cash out um the instacart payment you can't cash out your tips you have to wait when it's time for a payday which is on wednesdays but you have to wait for the tips and you can get you can cash out and it's a charge of 50 cent to cash out and long as you attach your debit card to the account you can cash out i'm trying to think what else guys that you may be thinking that you want to know off the top of your head um with chip they have like a shirts and stuff you can buy linears and stuff with instacart you don't have to wear it i have a i've been with them for a while now they have black linears and i have a white one which gets really dirty um you don't have to wear them it's up to you with shipped they like for you to wear it but you don't have to as well um trying to think what else guys so it's really great for extra money that you may need if you want to pay off debt if you want to um, go on a trip, vacation. I really love the Chipped has a uh, Facebook group lounge. There is one just for your area too. But the one, the big one, it's very inspirational where people um, have left their main job just to do Shipped. Um, and they go on these vacations or they love that they have the flexibility to go and to school functions for their children or be there for them at night and read them a story or whatever I love the flexibility it's awesome I can stop what I'm doing if I have a rough day or if it's just too hot I can just go home and that's it you know um, but yeah so the other thing I wanted to say um, you also get paid based off of how many items it is in the total I guess that's about the same thing the total of the order so if it's a big order you get paid um, per that item and then if it is um, like if it's just like 10 things on a on an order that's what I was meaning by you get at least you get ready to go okay you be careful there is at least seven dollars that you have to get paid so there is times that some people just order only 10 things there have been people who say um I don't know what I think the minimum with shipped is six dollars but I'm not sure six to eight dollars usually with shipped when you accept it um, or you claim it you can see that or before you claim it you can see how many how how much is the order the range of the order and how many items and some people say that it's just one thing like they went to go pick up a TV from Target from somebody but anyway there's tons of videos on YouTube. I'm going to try to take you guys with me, but um, with Instacart, it's a little bit hard because you're timed. And I have got a little bit of clips, but I'm going to try to because um, I guess I can ask my husband or my son to go with me, but it's a big no no to have someone to go with you um, to shop in the store. But I guess they won't be shopping, they'll be recording for me. So I don't know. We'll have to see. So let's get started with this haul, guys. Okay, guys, I'm also going to try to put a, I'm going to put a meal plan at the end of this for you guys. And I always forget, oh my goodness, um, I am 
also I created a grocery meal plan and grocery list I will make sure I'll link it down below in the description box so you can download that and I don't think it's anything else that I created that I wanted to share with you guys right now but there is some things that I'm working on like a printable well I may actually finish I just have to do it and if it is then I'll put it down in the description box a six month planner uh, it's just a printable it has a meal planner in it too um, a schedule well that's my other one um, a calendar like if you don't want to invest into a planner you're just going to print it out and you're going to put it in a binder so that's all you have to do for the rest of the six months um, for 2019. I thought about that because, you know, your kids are going back to school. I love planners and so forth, but everybody doesn't necessarily want to invest in a planner. They just want paper and pen to get it out of their head. So I'll put that all down in the description box in that grocery list. Okay. So I got some pepperoni, guys. I got some of the sea salt caramel almonds. Um, these made me feel a little, they're so good. A little bit funny but I think I just ate too many so I will only limit myself to just a couple of them like no more than five and also I picked up some bacon pieces they have been out of this forever um, they finally got some more back in um, going in there with instacart some people were saying well it was another shopper in there with instacart and she said that she went up to the one of the workers and she said um, they've been having an issue with their truck so that must have been what was going on. I also love to keep this on hand, the onion soup mix. So I have that, some grapes, some fruit flavored snacks. I probably need about two at a time, but I went ahead and got these for Saya for his lunches. And I know I have to tell them ahead of time, as soon as I bring something in here, do not eat this up. Josiah has a little stash right here of his snacks that I have in here and y'all they'll get it if i don't tell them i have to put my foot down okay so then some watermelon some chicken wings i'm going to make that recipe uh i can't remember who requested it the lemon pepper wings on instagram and i'm sure she's on youtube too so i'm going to do that and then i bought some lemons i have been loving lemon water so i need to go to dollar tree because my mama had some lemon water and she mixed it with the wilder's raspberry lemonade or the blueberry lemonade she and it was good y'all okay i was hot stopped after an instacart shop and it was somebody that was over there by her house and had to refresh and it was so good okay so i got some cooked shrimp the this was i don't i think it's cheaper in the winter time or either everybody's buying it. i don't know y'all maybe the prices are going up but this is 5.99 I don't remember it being that much. But I want to get some uncooked shrimp. And Jason said he knows how to peel and devein because his, um, I'm sure it's YouTube videos and stuff on it. But his sister used to cook it all the time and she taught him. So I'm like, well, you need to teach me how to do it because I don't know. So um, probably I'll, I'll pick some up so he can teach me how to do it. And I want to try the Sparkling Frost Pink grapefruit this sparkling water and then i also got the mango these are only 50 cents y'all and the black raspberry i had a customer the other day and she wanted four of the black raspberry and the orange mango but i ended up they were all out so i subbed her a total of eight of the black raspberry and i'll talk about that in the instacart video it's great or good to contact communicate with the customer and get what um get a replacement but anyway um got some popcorn are you guys gonna go see the lion king movie we're gonna probably go saturday so mama told us to wait on her so we'll probably go saturday and then the ground turkey i got the big one um they didn't have any english muffins a couple days ago so i got some today and then some extra i wanted some different types of cheeses so I'm kind of getting like mama. Mama doesn't really care for all these block cheese because it doesn't have a lot of flavor. And I know what she's talking about. And anyway, I just want to try some different cheeses because a lot of my customers, when I shop at Food Line or whatever, they just order all different types of stuff. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what this tastes like. So I got the extra sharp cheddar Wisconsin, which I think I had before. And then the New York sharp cheddar. I never had this before. And then some eggs. I got some pork chops because I wanted something different. And then I also have some 
Dollar Tree. I think it's like shake and bake stuff in there so I can make for them. And I might make this today with some loaded baked potatoes or something. Some 80-20, which don't need to be loaded baked potatoes. So I'm going to count every point. Some Hawaiian sweet rolls. These are marked down right now. I think it was like, it wasn't a lot. $129 or something. And then the bread, the honey wheat. And then I needed some more of the dish soap. And I got this. I like this soap. I really do. I like it. I've been using it. Sometimes I was getting it in the past because it was convenient. But I like it. It's thick. It lathers. It suds up really good. I said I won't gonna get these plates no more, y'all. And them prices had me. I got them. <laughs> so I got this today. I'm just being so cheap lately. I got those today, but I may not keep getting those. Get the other kind. And then the bleach. I needed some really bad. I got the big thing of the paper towels because I got tired of running out of them. And then I got some. I got the big thing of Scott. So this was six dollars. 49 cent and this was ten dollars and something um they're going through toilet paper really quickly i don't know what's going on but even before they was even was it before they even got out of school i don't even know y'all but they're going through it really quickly so i probably need it really to get two of these okay so i really went in there y'all to get my boo his backpack and his lunch box he just did a little try on haul while i was talking about this um, I'll make sure I link that above and below. Try to remember that because I'm terrible at remembering. But this was $9.99 when I saw it in the flyer. I was like, I have to get this for Sasa. And we were at Walmart looking at some and he liked them. But it wasn't like, I want that. You know what I mean? So when I showed him in the flyer what was coming up, um, he wanted it. So he was like, I want that. So we did go see Toy Story 4. That was the very first movie that Josiah went to the movies. And that was like a couple weeks ago. So let's see y'all. Sorry. That's what it looks like. So it's not fancy dancy. But it's enough for someone going to kindergarten. He can put his little water bottle on the side. This week they do have water bottles. But I didn't really like them. And then another mom was beside Another, I need to go take this upstairs. Another mom was beside me and she was just saying how she was worried about the spout um, getting all nasty and moldy. You know what? I should have got size some, um, what do they call? Juice boxes. But what I'm, I think I'm going to go to Walmart because I need some mayonnaise. I need some mayonnaise and something else I need. Okay, some helmets. So then I got him the lunch box and it was only $4.99. And he's carrying one right now, but it's like super narrow because it's one of those that attach to the book bag. And it doesn't come with anything in it, of course, probably for $5. Let's see. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, the one he has now, the width is very narrow. So this to give him a little bit more room. And then I was debating if I was going to get him the underwear. But I didn't get them. It was 8 for $9.99. And I knew I wanted to go on Audi as soon as they're open today. Because um, they have limited quantities on some things. And I didn't plan on getting him these. Because I know he just got a bunch of shoes. But I just, I just, I don't know y'all. He just full. I just wanted to get him these. And because he stayed home with me, I didn't really buy him a lot of clothes and stuff like that recently because all he would do was wear his pajamas all day long. He will take he strips off his clothes as soon as he gets home. But anyway, these are lit up light up and they're $12.99 and they have girls. I can't remember what kind of the girls they had. But the boys they have Avengers, Toy Story. I can't remember y'all. Let me see if I can find the paper. Paw Patrol, that's what they had. So there's the shoes and the girl Paw Patrol. They had socks. I didn't get any socks because when I was getting all those Dollar Tree socks, they were super cute, but it's a nightmare to find a pair together. There are the undies. Here's the water bottles. They didn't have matching water bottles, which I wish they did. And then here's the lunch pill, the lunch bags. They had some more other than these, some more girl ones. So that's what they had this week. And um if you need a little card for your planner that's a good one and i wanted this little table but i didn't get it and 
So that's it guys. I'll make sure I'll add the meal plan to this video. Hi guys. So I created this um, grocery list in the meal plan. And I'm working on a different one because I kind of wanted a certain way and share that with you guys. But I'll put this down in the description box so you can print it out for free. And by the time you guys will see it, it'll be tweaked just a little bit with some changes. But um, I started my grocery list on another sheet before this was finalized. So um, that's not my full grocery list here. So on the meal plan for this week, and this is not in a particular order. Uh, the only thing that is in order or we had on those exact dates was the pizza and the salad and then the movies. We either we went to the movies and then um, we had dinner somewhere else. We didn't have dinner at the movies, if that makes sense. That's what that was what the plan was. But we end up not going to the movies until Sunday, actually. So, um we had leftovers. Let's see, what did we do Saturday? We went to the Scrimp Shack. So I know we went out to eat somewhere. The Scrimp Shack. And then on Sunday, um, the baked fish and sauteed shrimp. Um, hush puppy, string beans, and red potatoes. Uh, the fish was tilapia. And then on Monday was BOTs, the Salisbury steak with um, collard greens and rice. Um, I put it on Tuesday, but I believe that was on Wednesday because on Tuesday we had leftovers from before, um, the previous week, which was pork chops, loaded baked potato and collard greens and, um, on Hawaiian rolls and then meatloaf, broccoli with cheese, and then already went over Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So I have it written down, but it's not in any particular order other than those days. And again, I'll put this down in the description box for you guys to grab for free. And then I'm working on another one that I want to make it a certain way. Yeah, and I'll share with that when I have that one ready.